Well, I was taking a bit of a break, but it looks like Bethesda's Creation Club have got a bit busy at long last and released several new mods, including a new play home. So let's take a look at Mere Watch. Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back. And today we continue with the Skyrim mod reviews, and this is a second Bethesda Creation Club home mod I'm showcasing. Uh, the first was the excellent Tundra Homestead uh, near Whiterun, and now this uh, new release is called Mere Watch, which is a mage town near Morthal. Both have been created by the extremely talented Eleonora, who has created a plethora of mods for Oldrim and Fallout 4, as well as Skyrim SE. So go and check out our other stuff. Uh, the home is a short distance from Morthal in the uh, Hjalmarch Hold, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, much of the terrain is covered by wetlands, marshes and swamps, um, which are infested with mud crabs, choruses, uh, spiders and vampires, so uh, beware. Oh, and it's uh, quite often foggy. And nearby you've got a few unmarked locations, Stone Hills, a mining village, uh, Kienstag ruins and Labyrinthian amongst others. And as far as I can tell, uh, there's no uh, dragon spawning spot uh, incredibly close by. So, uh, yeah, you're pretty safe. Now, this has a quest to uh, initiate or get access to the home. There you go. A spider. There you go. There you go. Go on, bugger off. Yeah, it's got a quest to actually gain access to the home. Uh, now, normally what I'll do is I'll do like a hidden video, which you can ask me uh, to send you a link to if you want, because uh, I don't like to do spoilers in the quest if the mods, mod author's actually taken time to put them in. But in this case, this is such a simple one. Uh, I'll just quickly do it. And that take takes care of him. Okay, good shooting, in you go. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm using not destruction magic at the moment, so I, I need uh, to get up to level 60 for a couple of perks I want. Okay, so let's search old hands. Deep in the swamps of Hillmarch, where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of unknown provenance. Few in the province dare speak the name Mirwatch, and those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further, and so I've made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of its past comes from its presence, from the cut of stone to the walls that surround it. Every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen in the hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus, a symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages were cast out from the college and set out to carve their own path? This is but a theory, and yet one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, with that access to all the minds of his occupants, Trinsight will remain frustratingly out of grasp. And you've got Hand's Journal, which you quickly open. I'm not going to bother reading this one because it's so uh, apparent uh, what you've got to do. So, obviously, you read it when you get it. Okay, right, so... Let's just burn it. Burn it with fire. Oops, wrong one. And disruption. Uh, we'll go flames. Okay. Flames work fine. There's a little bunny. And I don't know why a little bunny has to do that, but it does. And there you go. We've opened Mere Watch. Let's take a little wander in. What I'll do is give you some overview shots so you can actually see the whole thing and then I'll do a slow walk around uh, in more detail later on. So, let's cue the music.
OK, this is clearly based on the College of Winterhull, but uh, in, in my opinion, in far more detail. And there's quite a few like unique little items around. Um, plenty of storage, book covers. Um, I think if I any little complaints I would have, I'd like open bookshelves um, so I can see all my books stored. Um, yeah, but really detailed, really super. Now, I actually sent an, uh, a question on Facebook to Eleonora um, about these beds, whether they're suitable for children or not. I'm guessing they're not. Um, I think they're more for your followers. I really can't tell you on that. Uh, however, I'm sure you can bring your wife here, but I would kind of be reluctant considering the area it's in. Uh, with the vampires and spiders and stuff unless you've got an essential wife or husband okay so we've got an oven we all know if you want to cure vampirism an oven's essential for garlic bread you see storage absolutely everywhere plenty uh, I've checked the uh, safe, um, the storage, and it is safe. I put all this in, left it in for a few days. Uh, I come back, and it's still all there. Loads of as much storage as you'll need. And the room works as well. It, it works very well, and you get your well-rested bonus as well which is always important. And moving on around, you've got further storage. Yeah, this is a typical Lenora mod. It works. It works the gameplay as well. Uh, everything's close by, plenty of storage, um, lots of static stuff as well. Uh, then the first time I actually went through this, there was a glass dagger in there as well. Uh, the second time, this time, a ring of illusion. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Really, really decent room, and it works. Everything's nearby, everything's useful. The detail is spectacular, and the lighting is superb. I was a bit concerned uh, in case the lighting was going to be a little bit dark, as some uh, towers tend to be. But no, this is perfect, this works well. Gives a good atmosphere and yet enough light to see what you're doing. There's nothing worse, in my opinion, than some of these mods where it's just too dark. Okay, now let's go up into the gallery and cue the music. I can see that again this is actually beautifully detailed and this is going to be the heart of your home really uh, the, creative, the creative area so you've got a few places for um, unique items your um, Oriole's bow and as such like plenty of mannequins 
as you saw at the beginning there's an enchanted tower the alchemy tower storage and i do like the cupboard underneath as well absolutely fantastic that's really what you want uh in in a home everything nearby again for unique items here And I love the fact there's loads of mannequins and display uh, uh, cases. Okay, so if you look at that, uh, shield rack, right weapon rack, and left weapon rack. So I'm assuming you can have uh, two swords, for example, and a shield up there. Uh, the actual staffs. Now, last time I did the Tundra home, oh, um, Unique items up there, plenty. Now the one thing they have, she hasn't included in this, and I hunted everywhere for it, um, I, unless I've missed it, is uh, a stand for the dragon claws. Um, but hey ho, kind of everything. And a dragon mask. Yeah, super. Plenty of storage. And this looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, last time I did, uh, sorry, Tundra Cotton. Tundra, Tundra Cotton. <laughs> T Tundra Homestead. Um, I filled it with all the unique items and stuff like that. So you, but you can see what it could have been. And this time I thought I'll do it as you will see it when you get it. Okay. Again, one of those. All the bees and butterflies, etc., in the jar up there. Not the weapon, but weapon rack. Loads of uh, stories. There's a few skill books around as well. Yeah, this will look, look actually fantastic when it's filled. And I actually don't have the uh, all the items on on this build. This is a fairly new. Uh, uh, build to, to ends of a new build, so I haven't done half the stuff, but I could use a cheat room and bring it all in. But I thought it's best for you guys to see it as you'll get it. Okay, see, so they're normal weapon plaques there, and you've got a staff enchanter. And I thought those stars were uh, static, but they're not, and that's always good to have. But on a personal level, I never use uh, the Staff Enchanters until I've done the Atronach Forge bit in the college. Oh, Champion's Cudgel. It's a beautiful room. Really, honestly, really well designed. This is actually one of the best mages uh, player homes I've seen. Now I have actually downloaded another one which is free from Nexus which I think is for PC and possibly uh, the Xbox One I believe uh, maybe PS4 I'll double check and I'll do a, a, a showcase on that as well so you can compare the two because obviously this one you pay for and that one you don't I wasn't going to do it for a while but uh, considering I'm doing this one I will do it fairly soon and you can do a direct comparison. So you've got all the smithing gear as well. Now my last criticism of uh, uh, Tundra Homestead um, was that you had your crafting areas, your alchemy and enchanting all in separate, sorry, in one room, and the smithing stuff outside. Now in this instance, uh, Eleanor's actually brought it all in, which is superb. So you're, everything's close by for crafting. Uh, it's a seamless experience to, to craft all your gear. Fantastic, and plenty of like uh, growing places as well. And uh, I planted those, and they all work fine. Okay, so that's it. What a really great little home. Let's uh, take a pop outside, and I'll give my final thoughts. Okay, so this home is clearly inspired by the college, but it looks far more detailed, and I love the site chosen. Nestled into the curve in the cliff at the edge of the swamp, and it's great to see a proper mage based home in creation club great for role playing the attention to detail is superb but you'd expect that from an eleonora mod it's not only aesthetically pleasing home uh, but it's very functional for day-to-day -day playing and that to me is key um, 
with a huge amount of storage, mannequins, weapon racks, etc. But also in the crafting area, each table has storage, everything is nearby, so all crafting and upgrading can be done seamlessly. Now this sounds a bit petty, but so many modders don't even think about this, and it's so important for your day-to-day -day gameplay. All in all, I think this is an excellent mod, and I love it, and I'll definitely be using it. But the question is, should you buy it? Well, I can't answer that for you, but hopefully I've given you enough details for you to make that decision for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Catch you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.